To Vault 112, resident. According to sensors, you have arrived 202.3 years behind schedule. Please redress in your Vault Tech issued Vault suit before proceeding. If you have misplaced your suit, I am authorized to distribute a new one. Once dressed, please proceed down the stairs to the main floor so that you may enter your assigned Tranquility Lounger. Please take a seat in the nearest available Tranquility Lounge. Thank you for your cooperation. This is President Eaton.
Because one dog ain't enough, and two is too low, it's me, three dog. How you kids handling post-apocalyptia today? Everyone ready for the Capital Wasteland's latest news? Me neither, but it's that time again. Don't lose hope, children. Don't ever lose hope. The kid from Vault 101, the Wasteland's one true messiah, still walks among us. Just listen to this. Ooh, boy, children, you are going to love this. Okay. So I told you about James, the guy from the vault. And then I told you somebody else crawled out of there, too. Right. Well, guess who came to visit old Three Dog at his luxurious studio in beautiful downtown DC? That's right, the other vault dweller. Now, you want to know if it gets better? Hey there, sport. Beautiful day, isn't it? Say, you should go talk to Betty. She's waiting for you over on the playground. Have fun, sport. Hi there. Oh, someone new to play with. What good luck I have lately. I was just starting to get bored. Oh, we're going to have so much fun. I live here on Tranquility Lane. Want to play a game? We're going to play a game now, silly. That's what's going on. <laughs> you don't get to say no. If I want to play a game, you're going to play. And I want to. I said I want to play a game. It's easy. You make Timmy Newsbaum cry. And I'll help you. If you don't, then I guess you're stuck here. You don't want to play my game, so I don't want to talk to you. Hiya. Good day. You, you don't belong here. You're not supposed to be here. It's not real, none of it. It needs to end. The suffering must end. We're not really here. We're not really talking. It's all made up, make believe. We're sleeping, dreaming. The dream became a nightmare. It has to end, it just has to. But we're not in charge, he is. And he doesn't want us to wake up. He calls himself Betty now, but he's still the same. He can put on a new face all he likes, but underneath he's still evil. Braun. Bastard thinks because he helped create this place, he's God here. But I know he still uses the fail-safe terminal. I know it. It's in the abandoned house. He doesn't want us going in there because he's afraid we might find it. It's the only terminal to the outside. The only way to shut the whole thing down. You've got to find it.
what you've done. You've triggered the failsafe, ruined everything. The subjects will die and I'll be stuck here in this hell alone. You ruined everything. Everything. You've taken them all from me. You've left me with nothing. It's not fair. Nobody to play with ever again. Do you realize what you've done? You... It is not over. It is not... I just want things to go back the way they were. He's been right here the whole time. And you were too dense to figure it out. The dog, you see. Man's best friend. But now you've taken all my friends from me. The Garden of Eden Creation Kit. It was for terraforming, for restoring the world after a nuclear disaster. Unstable technology, and ultimately boring. Why remake the old reality when instead you could create any reality you choose? It is my greatest achievement. The best of the many simulations I've run in these 200 years. I played with the others, but they bored me. This version never grew old. It amused me over and over and over again. Yes, I'm sure he's fine. No doubt when you leave the simulation, he'll be waiting for you. But there's no one waiting for me. Isn't it obvious? You've run the failsafe, disrupted everything. I have no power over you. There's the door. Go. Run along now. Son. You've saved me. I was afraid I'd be trapped in there forever. It's so good to see you, but... but what are you doing here? Well, I'm glad you did. This certainly wasn't how I expected things to turn out. I wasn't ready for brawn, or I might have fared better. It certainly is. It's nice to feel that I'm on two legs again. And thanks to Dr. Braun, I know that Project Purity isn't lost after all. No, no. It will be time to rest when the work is complete. This is far too important. I need to get back to Rivet City right away. There's so much to be done. Yes. With what I've learned, Madison is sure to see that we can finally succeed where we failed so many years ago. I'd like you to come with me. I'd like you to be there when we finally open the floodgates. That's my boy. Let's hurry. Now that I know what we need, I want to get back to work as soon as possible. Of course, son. What's on your mind? Somehow, I don't think the Overseer would agree with that. What's done is done. But if we succeed, if we can make Project Purity a reality, we can create a new life for ourselves out here. I wouldn't be here if I didn't. With what I've learned from Dr. Braun, I know it can work. That's why it's so important to find a Gek as soon as possible. It's the key to Project Purity. 
So am I, son. While this isn't what I had in mind, it's good to have you with me. It started as an idea, really. Remember the Bible passage your mother loves so much? Free, clean water for everyone. What a difference it could make in the lives of everyone here in the Wastes. Over time, that idea took the form of a purifier. Not like the one in the vault, though. This one was gigantic, capable of purifying millions of gallons of water at once. We used the old Jefferson Memorial for the location, right on DC's tidal basin. Someday soon, I hope you'll see it work. In the year before you were born, things became difficult. There had always been something of a mutant's problem in the city, but it became worse. They attacked more frequently and more aggressively. Support for the project eroded as time went on, when we couldn't produce any significant results. Progress came to a halt, and then you were born. Your mother and I had talked about what to do when that time came, but then I... We lost her, and I had to make a decision. I chose to leave. From what I understand, things happened quickly after that. It became too dangerous for the others to stay, and so the project was abandoned. Dr. Lee and her team left for what became Rivet City, and Project Purity has sat waiting ever since. <laughs>